Sipendus drummondii is the western soapberry, another one of our native plants. Uh, this is a medium-sized tree with a rounded crown. Very durable, very adapted to hot and dry locations. Um, the leaves are, this is a pinnately compound leaf, so this is the entire leaf here with the raceous, the stem would attach to the stem right here. And the leaflets are sort of what you call sickle-shaped, kind of curved and tapered, sort of uh, a, a medium green with a yellow cast to it. And then the full color is kind of a yellowish gold. These leaves are attached alternately on the stem. And another identification feature on this, as you'll see with the, with the uh, flowers and the fruit, that there's no real clear-cut um, terminal bud at the end of the stem. The stems are kind of a yellowish green to a gray. Um, the, 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 the large leaves create a large leaf scar. Um, the bark, ev the eventual bark, is kind of flattened scales that look like they're going to peel off. They don't, they don't exfoliate. They just have this appearance of being kind of loosely attached. It's very strong wood. It's durable, uh, wind resistant. You don't see a lot of pest damage or wind damage or eye strand damage on these trees. Um, they're just really, really tough trees, which is really is 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 what we can use a lot in in this area of Oklahoma. The flowers are at the end of the branches, and it is a monoecious flower, so it is um, female and male on the same plant. Um, so you'll find these panicles about uh, 12 inches or more of the complete panicle of little small flowers in um, July, so midsummer. Um, the fruit develops soon after that, starts out kind of green, and then develops to this um, sort of pale orange color. And eventually, as it matures, it becomes this sort of translucent, so you can see through this orange seed covering and see the black seeds um, held inside there, one seed in, inside each one of the covers. When you crush the fruit underwater, it kind of makes a lather, and pioneers use this plant sort of as a, as a soap substitute, slightly poisonous. Uh, the seeds uh, can be germinated um, and under an acid treatment. So the seeds are viable, but they have to be treated to, to get them to germinate. The, the fruit holds on during the winter, so you'll sort, sort of see this look after all the leaves have fallen. You can see at the ends of all the branches these clusters of orange seeds and seed coverings.